Hey guys, it's Charlie on The Pagan Perspective. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I let go of my past conditioning and into freedom for learning my path and creating my path. So let's get started. Alright, so I came from a background um, where I believed I had to believe in everything that my religion believed in or taught and that I couldn't kind of stray away from it and I couldn't create my own path and I couldn't take what I really felt was real and let go of what I didn't feel was not real and what I truly believed in. Uh, when I left my religion that I came from, which was Christianity, I had to struggle with where do I go from here and how do I find what feels right for me. So I'm going to share with you a few things that I did that might help you if you're trying to let go of trying to accept everything that one religion has to offer and feeling like you have to force yourself to believe in those things. So the first thing that I did was I wrote down everything that I was taught to believe in and kind of everything at that moment that I was told to believe in and slightly still believed in. And then I wrote down next to it what I truly believed or what I thought I might have believed or what I feel like is real. And so this is kind of comparing, taking and comparing what you were taught to believe and what you truly believe. And this can be in so many aspects. It can be from the way the world is, like how the world works. It can be beliefs about God, beliefs about death, beliefs about anything. Like I pretty much wrote a long list of pretty much every concept or thought I could think of. And then I wrote the counter of what I truly believe or what I'm questioning at the time. And then from there, I took those two sections and I studied and learned about other religions. So if this is something that you're thinking about and you're just struggling to let go and have freedom, because when you come from Abrahamic religions specifically to paganism, which is a big tree that has so many religions under it, there are a lot of religions that have a lot more freedom and that freedom can be a bit scary in the beginning. So what I did was I learned about so many different religions and I learned and I questioned, do I see this as like a possibility? Is this valid? Can I understand it? Does it make sense to me? And some things I was like, this makes complete sense. And I also agree with this. And sometimes I was like, this doesn't make any sense at all. I don't, this doesn't relate to me or connect to me. So. I wrote down a lot of things that I felt like, man, this makes so much sense and I can so see this or I can take so much from this. I learned about a lot of different religions. You can take so much and learn so much from the way different cultures think. So I did a lot of that and I took a lot of time for myself to just learn about other cultures and traditions and religions. And for me, the biggest part is learning. This is the thought that helped me to become a little bit more free and to feel like I, I'm not a bad person for letting go of this conditioning that I had believed in for so long. And to become a little bit more free was when I lived abroad, I saw people, I met people who were genuinely good people. And I thought to myself, these people are not the religion that I'm coming from. They cannot be bad. Like, how can they be bad? How can this be bad? They have completely different beliefs about the world, about life, about religion, about death and everything. And they're genuinely good people. And just going with that, I thought, oh, that's so freeing. Like, just to have met people from other cultures that were genuinely good, having come from a background where I was told that if you believed and you practiced in a different way and you believed in different things then you are going to hell pretty much just meeting people from other cultures helped me so much to free myself of the process of thinking I had to believe every single thing from one religion so from there I learned and I took and incorporated things that I really resonated with from different religions and I'm still continuing to do that to this day learning and observing and a big part of my practice is learning and 
The next thing is experimenting. You know, what works for one person might not work for another person. Um, and it's not that it's wrong, it's just that we have different ways of seeing the world and believing and our thoughts behind things can be different and have different meanings. So um, if something works for one person and I try it and it doesn't work for me, it doesn't mean it just doesn't work, period. It just doesn't work for me. Or maybe my thoughts behind it or something like that just didn't make it allow it to work. So I really like to experiment after learning. And that to me, a big part of my life, all of life for me is a big experiment. And so from there, taking and putting into practice some of the things that I learned and incorporating that into my daily practice or my life. That has really helped me to just start to slowly incorporate new things and new ways of seeing the world. But they are, they are things that resonate with me. And one reason why it's so important to write down what you have been taught to believe and what you believe kind of at that time and what you're questioning to what you genuinely believe or the way you really think about it What's good about that is that a lot of times we'll see a religion. For example, there are a lot of people who just want to be Wiccan. It's a big, it's, it's very popular nowadays. And so they'll just take the Wiccan, you know, things around Wicca and say, yes, this is what I believe, this is what I believe, this is how it is, without really questioning what they truly believe. And this is why I think it's so important to write down what you genuinely believe without researching too much. And then once you go and research, you might find a religion or find some practices or things that you can do that resonate with what you truly believe rather than trying to switch your beliefs to fit a religion. You're finding a religion that fits your beliefs, finding practices that fit your beliefs at the moment. And as you research, as you learn, you'll find other beliefs that you have that you didn't know you had, things like that. But yeah, I hope this helped you guys. Right now, I'm at the park, swinging on a swing. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Hopefully it helped you. This is something that really has helped me to become a little bit more free. And I hope that it can help you as well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm enjoying myself here in Thailand. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.